hey guys welcome back so in this video i'm going to jump directly to an option called virtual proxy i personally feel that this is an underrated uh, option here and uh, everybody can use this option to their advantage over to here you will have an option in configure system you will have virtual proxy so what does virtual proxy do virtual proxy will help you create a, a streamline a different stream within your whole product for example if i go ahead and create a virtual proxy called as test and over here you need to give it a prefix this prefix is absolutely unique okay you cannot keep two profile up to two virtual proxy with same prefix that doesn't works like that okay so i am going to give it test okay well i'll say Udemy, Udemy, okay. And this is the session timeout. And now I can play with the session timeout. Let's say one user logs into my system. And I want that user to auto log out if he is not doing anything within 10 minutes. I can do that. Now you just need to update the header of this particular cookie. So I am giving it the name of the prefix directly over here okay this is ideal what i personally follow over to here you will have an option to add a loan ball load balancer you can you should have a central node over there or whichever node you prefer i personally use central load for most of the cases for authentication for uh, so you you have some bunch of properties here for authentication you have no anonymous user that means that particular user who is logging in has to be in our system what method you want to use i use ticket and what is the type of pattern you want to use by default it is windows i am using form okay forms so what does form do it provides you a form of username and password okay so what will happen is I can show you that form which will give you a general idea so I am adding I am doing into a different zone now so this is called as a form okay so as you can see here this is a form so what this form will do you will have a username you will have a password that you need to enter and then and only then you can uh, go inside so this is one of the options so you have two options is the pop-up one which is windows and one is a form so this is by default so i i personally use form for most of the cases where i have a form to fill up in the advanced option you don't have to do anything if you have http enabled you can do that else i do none over here same site attribute none so if it is coming from the same site that means mine my case is ark01 uh, then i can just say that uh, it is coming from the same site so just do a lax okay so it has a bunch of meaning for it or you can just say none so none will what it will do when this it will not check for that same site attribute basically okay and you can provide a host let's say you are integrating uh, clicksense uh, application into sharepoint so for the sharepoint link what you have for your domain is something that you can uh, whitelist here for example in my case i have the domain of ark01 so i am going to add that and I'm going to save it okay now you can go into proxy link and you need to link the central proxy and you have to wait so this will auto log out your whole system for your whole environment whichever user is logged in they will be logged out so this technically refreshes your proxy as you can see it is auto logged out when I return login I'll auto login okay 
so if somebody is doing an activity in your plexens environment and you are doing an activity in your virtual proxy their session will be closed regardless they are using your virtual proxy or not okay so as as you can see virtual proxy is over here you have one more attribute is client authentication link when you enable that you will have uh, the link of uh, the host uri you want to give a friendly name and then you can generate so what i can do is i can just write my url i will give it a friendly name right like ark rnd01 okay and i'll hit generate so this is your client authentication link for example i have my desktop edition which i close it okay i'll just close it i'll go to incognito open this as you can see open click browser you now you have to wait a little okay till your click sense browser is up and running if not i prefer opening my click sense browser first okay so it's doing something now it says add authentication link so as you can see you cannot add it so what you can do is you can open it in browser like this now as you can see ar rnd is over here when you click on this you have to accept you have to log in with the domain slash username and the password specified for that particular domain for that user and then you can access the clicksense desktop like this also using the client authentication link so virtual and you can obviously delete that also like this from here so this is one of the way uh, that you can actually use the clicksense desktop also and this is one of the reasons why virtual proxy is actually used also okay so another use case is let's say if i want to use it what i'll do i'll say ark rnd udemy udemy slash hub okay or i'll just say udemy now as you can see automatically the form is there i don't have to worry about the ui or something now the form is there now i can write my directory and the username and i can uh, try to log in let's say as you can see domain slash user dot slash user will not work here okay so let's say in my case uh, i forgot my directory so this is my directory i am going to just paste slash user1 and my password and i will hit enter i have logged in into that virtual proxy if i just wait 10 minutes where i don't do any of the activity i'll be locked down i'll be locked out for example <clears throat> over here i do some activity into the virtual proxy okay i reduce the time from 10 minutes to let's say one minute now i have done something as you can see i have locked out automatically so you need to make sure that virtual proxy settings that you are trying to do has to be done on a time where your user are not logged in especially on a day like saturday or sunday or something like that or you can take a downtime for half an hour one time one hour where you can just specify that there is some activity that we have to do and then you have to do that this is a proper way to work with virtual proxy if you feel that your virtual proxy isn't up to the mark you can delete that virtual proxy also so so this is all for this video i'm going to meet you in the next videos where we are going to do some advanced activities